前よりはもう出た後か同じだいくら前よりを逃がそうとしても結局は。After rewatching the Steins Gate anime and playing its visual novel, what intrigued me this time around wasn't necessarily the time traveling, the perfectly written plot, the philosophical implications, or anything like that. During the course of my second experience with the story, what really got my attention was the psychological state of Okabe Rintaro. The mad scientist, Hoo Win Kyoma, with all his pride and dignity, returning to his place as a normal human, but with crippling depression. Extreme levels of anxiety and post traumatic stress after trying to fight against fate and the universe. Following the creation of the Time Leap Machine, Okabe witnessed the brutal death of his childhood friend, Shina Mayuri. After countless failures of going back in time to save her, repeatedly exposing himself to that dreadful sight, Okabe came to learn that the whole world, the whole universe even, was conspiring to kill Mayuri. Potentially in its most extreme form, Okabe has developed what psychologists would call learned helplessness. Coined by American psychologist Martin Seligman from his experiments on dogs and electrical shocks, learned helplessness refers to three interlocked things. First, an environment in which some important outcome is beyond control. Second, the response of giving up. And third, the accompanying cognition, the expectation that no voluntary action can control the outcome. When breaking down this definition in relation to the context of Okabe, the outcome that's beyond his control is Mayuri's death. And life without her. No matter the circumstance, the Alpha World Line is absolute in not letting Mayuri live, and her death will vary accordingly. The second aspect is giving up, which can either appear as eventually letting Mayuri die, or repeating the same two days over and over again to prevent from anyone's death. And because of how much Okabe cares for Mayuri, he repeatedly time loops into the past. In the chance that he'll find a way to prevent Mayuri's death. Yet, no matter what he did, on the same day, at the same exact time, Okabe would see Mayuri fall to the hands of death, eventually, learning that any kind of action will not change the outcome. In the end, it became Okabe versus the universe, and because of it, he simply became helpless. In Stein's Gate Zero, after Okabe escapes the Alpha World Line and saves Mayuri, he's unable to save the one he loves, Makise Krisu. From this ordeal, once again, We're able to see Okabe in the state of learned helplessness and its accompanying symptoms. According to Martin Seligman, there are three primary disturbances associated with helplessness. First, helplessness reduces the motivation to control the outcome. When we're faced with a difficult or traumatic situation, the main reason as to why we may respond is to produce relief and lead us to a successful outcome. You could even say that the outcome we desire is what will give us relief. In Okabe's case, he doesn't want to see any of his friends get hurt or killed. Therefore, he goes back in time in the hopes that he'll be able to save them and therefore produce relief. But of course, the reason why we make a response is so that we can produce a successful outcome. If we continue to respond and it doesn't work, when we continue to time loop over and over again just to see our friends get brutally killed, We begin to learn that responding is futile and may even begin to stop making a response entirely. Therefore, after going back in time once more, from learning that he was the one to kill Makise, Okabe absolutely refuses to deal with time machines entirely. 
無理だおじさん俺は何度となく世界線を漂流してきたこことは違う世界線でタイムマシンに運命を翻弄される人たちよ Second, helplessness interferes with our ability to learn that responding can control the outcome. It's no wonder that Okabe believed he couldn't control the outcome because the constant time looping into the past never worked, only serving to further destroy his mental state. Because of it, he was never able to come up with the idea that he had to nullify all the previous emails that were sent, or that he simply had to trick himself into thinking that Krisu was killed. With his first failure at saving Krisu, Okabe gives up and gains the belief that interfering with time will only yield bad results. Third, helplessness produces fear for as long as the subject is uncertain of the uncontrollability of the outcome, and then produces depression. In the face of a traumatic event, we're faced with feelings of fear and frustration. We become anxious and scared of facing that traumatic event, therefore, we make attempts at controlling that trauma in order for fear to be reduced or disappear entirely. If that trauma ends up being uncontrollable, then we become frustrated with our inability to deal with it. When we learn of the uncontrollability of the trauma, then fear will decrease because of how useless it is to expend much energy in a hopeless situation. However, in its place, we develop depression. This is where we begin to feel a dejected mood, loss of interest in the world, strong feelings of self dislike, feelings of guilt and worthlessness, and the future seems bleak. Because of Okabe's fear of going back in time to save Kurisu, and the frustration that he can't do anything about it, Okabe's state of helplessness has transformed into depression alongside post traumatic stress. With all that said, how do we even overcome helplessness? When all seems to be lost, when events seem to be entirely out of our control, when the entire universe seems to be plotting against us, how are we supposed to even recover and begin to have any kind of hope again? Well, the simple answer that Steins Gate gives us is to not do things alone. Okabe's story isn't really about saving the entire universe or anything grand like that. Honestly, it's more a story about helping and saving our friends when in need, saving the place that is the future gadget laboratory to continue enjoying the times with the people we appreciate and cherish. When it feels like we've reached our absolute lowest and escaping rock bottom seems impossible, the only way to have hope again is to rely on others and to reach out for that helping hand. This is why Okabe decides to go along with Krisu to Aomori, or why Krisu continuously helps Okabe no matter what world line. Or even why Mayuri goes back in time to bring back Hoo and Kyoma. Feeling helpless makes us easily forget that no matter where we are or what situation we're in, we don't have to be alone in tackling these problems. Even if we don't believe we need it, we're more likely to get much further by thinking through things together than alone. And once we receive that help, then we pass on that kindness down to others, whether that's by consoling them through difficult times or reveling in good times as well. So, If you are ever feeling desperate, hopeless, or stuck, reach out to someone. Whether that be a family member, close friend, teacher, coach, therapist, or anyone that you could possibly trust and rely on, allow them to share in your hardship and for them to be your courage. And once you're able to finally push through, just remember. <laughs>